gone and walk here, baby. Me for I think we're poorly. My ami walk pretty. My wife is young, come on. I'm a sapwal zire. We'll let them continue. Ladies and gentlemen, ever feeling like being stuck in the past or wanting to transition into the future with the car industry? Or, or are you still wondering whether you want to change to having an electric car? So now, here's some facts and the truths. Since the COVID-19 epidemic began in late 2019, the transition to electric vehicles has been dramatic. And Tesla is one company, for example, that has influenced many other companies to make electric cars. Meanwhile, when Tesla became known as the most successful electric vehicle company in 2020 and the best stock for investment, their, their sales skyrocketed rapidly. Plus, like many other electric car competitors, these cars are known to be 100% silent, powerful, more, more safe, and environmentally friendly. However, they get so many recalls for technical glitches and fire hazards. As for fire hazards, they use lithium ion batteries, which are most common causes of this climax. They still use those batteries for lighter weight, high level charging, and mileage range expansion. This answers the question, why aren't electric cars safe for the future? For electric cars to be made, they first have to go through a stage of battery production. Making a battery may appear to be a difficult task. If you are making a lithium battery, it takes 700 tons of brine to make lithium. Then you add cobalt, graphite, and manganese, which is how you, to make this type of battery. Those all come from a bigger digging site, which is mining. That also goes with making gasoline-powered cars without the presence of lithium batteries. Those gas cars mainly focus on steel body structures. Back to battery making, it leaves more carbon footprints than the production of gas cars. When installed in larger electric vehicles like the Tesla Model X and the Hummer electric vehicle pickup and SUV, the large batteries can emit up to 17 metric tons of CO2. However, smaller batteries are needed when installed in small cars like the BMW i3, which makes two metric tons of CO2. As we focus on the future, multiple governments in the most developed countries such as the United States of America and the United Kingdom are planning to make their territories completely oriented to electric vehicles by 2040s. This law isn't going to help make the world better because as more electric vehicles enter the market, their carbon footprints will grow. This is why electric cars should be sold gradually and more gradually in the coming decades. As to gas cars, many do not leave bad emissions like they did in the 70s, 1970s and earlier. They have catalytic converters that help turn bad air into clean gas emissions. And their MPGs depend on their powertrain, such as how many cylinders the engine is built with, the conditions in their injectors, the quality of the air flow, and the speed. When a car has a lower MPG, known as the miles per gallon, its gas consumption is faster than when a car has a higher MPG. Let's not forget that we also have hybrid cars. Hybrid cars use two different engines to operate, an electric motor and a gas-powered motor. The vehicle switches between these two motors depending on the speed at which it travels. When you travel at lower speeds, the hybrid uses battery to power to run. Hybrids have a better fuel efficiency and conserve more energy thus emitting fewer carbon emissions. Less reliance on fossil fuels, since hybrid vehicles are able to utilize a high voltage battery pack and electric motors for propulsion. They don't rely on fossil fuels as much as standard gas cars. However, they're not as always better for the environment because many of them use lithium batteries, which have the same issues as electric vehicles. As a result, when purchasing these, they offer a better alternative price range to choose from than from then electric cars. Thus, this whole fact is the reason why the world cannot have strictly electric cars on the road, and we are all aware that certain countries cannot accommodate electric cars with factors such as communism, limited power supply, and unpaved roads. As we close out, the future is still predictable. And the transition to EVs is still debatable. And then this video will appreciate your additional thoughts on the transitions to EVs with both positives and negatives. 
And then also the more efficient ways to combat the climate changes and also the environmental changes. So thank you for watching and help us gather information.